All right, guys, so I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your Xfinity um, internet Wi Fi router modem. So I just got a box, super easy. Um, they actually they actually designed it for a five years old kid. All right, so I'm going to open it real quick and see what's in there. So the first thing you notice is uh, the instruction. Um, it's like super easy, it's, it walks you through like step by step. Like, what do you have to do when you open the box and stuff like that? So I got the instruction, then I got the, the modem router right here, and then I got two things. There's actually three cables, but the third one doesn't matter, it's called Ethernet cable. It's a yellow color, no customer needs that unless they want the, they have like the old style computer. So they want the Ethernet cable running through uh, the modem to their computer. All right, but mainly you need uh, a cable, the power cable, and this is what called coax cable. These are the only things you're gonna need. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get the power cable and put it behind it right here. Just plug it in real tight. And then, now this is uh, the coax cable. All you gotta do is, this is like the male side of it, right? So male side, put it in the female side of it and then tighten it up real quick. Right, so now, the modem router side of uh, setting up is all good to go. There's nothing left in the box, so that's it. So I'm gonna close it real quick. So I'm gonna go back. Now, every house has a, what is called a, an outlet, all right? So every house has an outlet like this. So Charmaine, can you help me with that real quick? So this is what the outlet looks like. Can you bring it closer? This is how the outlet looks like. Right, this one right here. All right, so the other side of the coax cable, one side is already tightened up. This side, I'm gonna tighten up right here. All right. All right, that's good to go. Now I'm gonna turn on the power, in the power outlet, and you guys will see there are total uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lines. Number, the top one is the power. The second one is, uh, it gets the internet running. And the third one um, is online. So it had, the, all the three on the top, they all have to be soldered on, all right? And the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, these gotta be like blinking all the time. And that's good to go. So I see, the power uh, light is on right now and it's gonna take about a minute and a half for the rest of the lights to turn on. And as soon as the top three lights are soldered on and the, 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 the next two lights, the 2.5 and 5, they are blinking, that should be good to go. Now we can wait till every light is on so we see the internet is running. But that's how, that's how long it takes from the opening the box to plug it in. Every house, as I said, has this outlet. If they don't have it, maybe that's when they need to call in um, and ask for uh, the technician to for, uh, you know, come and set up everything for them. But mostly if they qualify for our services, most probably they have that uh, the outlet already in their house. All right, so as you see, the USDS, the next to set number two light is now blinking. It's gonna go solid in a few seconds. Okay, see it's blinking fast now, it's about to be solid. Charmaine, can you blink it closer a little bit? So, so, so. Let's see that, so see it's like, one, the, the power light is solid, the USDS, that's blinking fast now, now that, that became solid as well, so that's perfect. The next is uh, we're about to see the online thing. Now see, online thing is blinking uh, pretty fast. That's gonna be solid in like in a few seconds. And as soon as that's solid, the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz one, it's gonna be blinking as well. So as soon as that happens, the internet is good to go. So it total from opening up the box till getting to the point, I think it takes about like five minutes or so. Um, but it's very, very simple.
so that got solid. The telephone line don't matter if they don't have cell phone, they, they don't have the landlines and stuff like that. But they're gonna be blinking just in case if you have a landline with them or not. But if they have a landline, they got they got they got to plug that in on the backside as well as like Ethernet. Um, that's when the, you you get that the yellow cable in the box. Alrighty, so you should be all set. There you go. So you see, Shaman, can you bring it closer, please? So look at that, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, they're blinking, so it's not on. After this step is done, after this step is done, then it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna ask you, as soon as you click on your internet, it's gonna ask you to go in your account, and you can change the name of your Wi-Fi. You can also change the password, but initially to set it up, it's right on the side. So if you see the username and the password right there, you look, you're gonna need this, to log in but as you as soon as you're inside your account you can change the name of your uh, of your router and also the password as well whatever easier for you guys to uh remember all right that's it good to go